What happens when I change the region on my iPhone? Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today we're exploring an interesting aspect of iPhone settings, the region. We'll discuss what happens when you switch the region on your iPhone and how it impacts your user experience. What is the region setting? The region setting on your iPhone determines how certain aspects of your device function. The region setting affects things like date and time formatting, language, available content, and even some app behavior. Changing the region on your iPhone might be necessary when you're traveling or if you move to a different country. Let's delve into what exactly changes when you do this. Changes in App Store and Content Availability The most immediate effect you'll notice when changing the region on your iPhone is the change in content availability. Your App Store, iTunes, and other services that offer region-specific content will update to match your selected region. This means you'll have access to apps, movies, and music that are available in the selected region but not necessarily in your previous one. Remember, if you switch regions, you might lose access to certain apps or content that aren't available in the new region. Payment and Billing Information When you change your region, Apple requires you to update your payment method to one that's valid in the new region. If you don't have a valid payment method for the new region, you might run into some difficulty when trying to purchase apps, music, or other content. Alterations in Date, Time, and Language Settings Switching regions can also affect the format of date and time on your iPhone. The format may change to match the standards of the region you've selected. Although changing the region does not automatically change the language of your device, some apps may display in the local language of the new region. News and Siri Suggestions Last but not least, services like Apple News and Siri Suggestions will also adjust to your new region, showing you news and suggestions that are relevant to your selected region. So that's a wrap on what happens when you change the region on your iPhone. Remember, these changes are not always permanent, and you can switch back to your original region at any time. Make sure to keep the potential impact on your content availability and app functionality in mind when making these changes. As always, we hope this video has been helpful, and stay tuned for more tech insights.